DMing me and I'm seeing it all over Instagram. Is Josh fighting? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, who the fuck is that? Just hit a button, Morty. Give me a beat. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Um. Good evening and welcome back to uh, another vlog. Uh, if you're new here, my name's Sam. This is TaylorMade CrossFit. I create content in the CrossFit space. Uh, vlogs about anything to do with the sport that we all know and love. Now, this morning on my dog walk, um, I was listening to the Savan, Josh and Matt podcast. Um, I was really keen to hear Matt's side of the story about the Joe Rogan interview. Um, uh, the fact that um, he's got a fair bit of criticism, mainly from Castro, uh, about not promoting and covering the sport um, as he could have. Matt's jumped in straight away and basically said, because Savan's called this out as well, basically said that he got stage fright most of the, uh, a lot of the time when he's training, rather than listening to mental, heavy, hardcore music, he'll be listening to something in the background that could be Joe Rogan. So he almost got a little bit of stage fright kind of got starstruck and you can understand that you know he is a kind of you know he might be the fittest in the world but he comes across as a pretty normal bloke sitting across from Joe Rogan how many of us could say that we wouldn't get a little bit starstruck and not have the mental focus or clarity to kind of clear that up another thing that was really interesting though so Josh Bridges has been saying that he's got a fight organized for the last few weeks They've ummed and ahed and they've, they've kind of chuck, uh, chuck, chucked around some, uh, some names. Um, it was, of course, as we know, Bridges was meant to be fighting Castro. Castro obviously hasn't signed up for this, but some other names have been chucked in the hat. And then today, Savan has said this. <laughs> um, let's address the elephant in the room. Dave's little I IG, love to. Dave's IG live, you know talking shit about our boxing match saying that I was gonna I wanted a big ring and I want a big gloves so I could run from his little scrawny noodle arms just so everyone's very clear everything that Dave said was 100% bullshit except for the end when he said he wouldn't take his shirt off and with me in the ring with him that is 100% true and he's scared so Big announcement, we have contracts signed, boxing match going down. Not going to announce it's, anything else. Nothing else is going to be announced, but the, the fight is going to happen. Obviously, it's not with Dave because he's weak and scared. Um, <laughs> but it is with another another name that you all know and love. And uh, is it, really I actually really didn't... I actually are, are you, didn't know that if it's the guy I think it is I actually don't know that guy what's funny is, is a lot of people keep DMing me and I'm seeing it all over Instagram is Josh fighting blah 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 and I'm like who the fuck is that Josh has really hit the bottom of the barrel. Like, is it really, has it really, has it really come down to that I, I we'll think, see we'll see I, I think we'll see. Siobhan do you know who it is I mean, I think I know who it is. I mean, it's a guy who retired who says... Hey, it, hey, 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 hey. We're not announcing anything. We're not yeah, announcing anything. This guy you said can't put that this in. No, 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 no he hasn't. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Okay. He hasn't right. said it. All right. I, I think we should probably chop that piece out. All yeah, right. way to go, dickhead. <laughs> we, we, don't want to ruin Josh. we don't want to ruin Josh's contract. I'm trying to help the podcast and announce things and stupid face over there is wearing his stupid glasses. So firstly, that's a hell of a reaction. Um, obviously it could be jeopardized if it gets out into the space. Um, but the, the thing that stands out for me is the fact that he mentions two retired athletes or someone who's recently retired. The only two people who have retired this season are Matt Fraser and Jacob Hefner. So is he fighting one of those? Let me tell you, if he fights either of those guys, my money's on Bridges, ex Navy SEAL, bit of a badass. And yeah, Matt might be the fittest in the world. But my money would be on Josh. My money would definitely be on Josh in that one. Navy SEALs are kind of built differently. And while I haven't got a lot of experience of Navy SEALs, <laughs> apart from Goggins, obviously, um, they do seem a cut above. So, yeah, I think, I don't know, looking at it, you know, 
it could be Matt. You know, both Jacob and Matt on their YouTube channels have both said about how much stuff they've got coming up this year. Matt said that you're going to see even more of him now that he's stepped away from the competition floor. Jacob said about how much activity he's got going on from seminars. He wanted to do some commentary. Could it be that they've signed up for a fight with Bridges? Only time will tell, uh, but I'll make sure that I keep you informed. Anyway, hope you like this short, sharp vlog. Um, hit the like button, hit subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.